Hello all, welcome to part 7 of Extent Reports training series. In this session, I am going to practically demonstrate how to set up or configure projects with Extent Report library. So let's get started. So I'll open this Eclipse ID and freshly create a new project. So I'll create a Maven project guys. Instead of creating a normal general project, I'll be creating a Maven project, okay? I have to select file, then say new, and then go to this project option, and here search for Maven. And here you'll get Maven folder, under that you will find this Maven project. Select that Maven project, click on next. So here you're getting a dialog saying new Maven project. If you want to create a simple project without any template, okay? So the basic template, if you want to create without getting some, you know, right default things and all, like some dependencies of JNIT and all, you can select this option, okay? It will create a project without that uh, uh, pre-added dependencies and all, okay? So a simple project without following any template we are adding this, okay? So click on next. And here I'll give the project name in the artifact ID field. So I'll say extend, reports, demo, project, PROJ, okay, or project, anything is fine. Upper camel case, you can give the project name and you can give any group ID, guys, it doesn't matter which group ID you will give, ERDP, some short form I'm giving, you can give anything here. So that's it, click on finish button. With a given name, the project will be created. You see, extend reports demo project got created. So it's still loading. Once it loaded, expand the project, guys. This is the project we have just now created. Under that, we have this SRC main Java, SRC main resources, SRC test Java. Okay, SRC test resources kind of source folders are there. Fine. Now, under SRC test Java, okay, this is the place we will write the automation scripts and all, right? Test SRC test Java. So under this, I'll create a package, guys. Okay, I'll say right click new. I'll give a package name, say test package. Okay, click on finish. Under the test package, under the test package, I'll create a new class. I'll create a new class. Okay. So this is a normal Java project, guys. Okay. Normal Maven Java project this is. Okay. But I want to configure this project that I have created here with the extent reports library. Okay. So how to do that? I'm going to how to set up that or how to configure this uh, normal Maven Java project with the extent reports library. Extent reports is a third party library, right? So, which uh, doesn't come with the Java project or kind of thing. So here we have to give the class name. Let's give a name like demo, okay? Just some random name demo. And I want to auto generate this public static void main so that I can run the code using the main method. So it will, it will create a demo class and uh, inside the demo class, it is creating a main method, okay? If you already know Java, that's all good for understanding this session guys, hoping that you already know Java for this. There's a class, under the class, we have the main method. Inside the main method, I want to write the code related to the extent reports, okay? So where can I get the sample code for uh, this extent reports? I'll go to something like uh, the official website of uh, extent reports, that is extentreports.com. After going there, I'll go to the docs, version five and select Java here. And here there is a code example. A, com a complete example of uh, something. So I'll copy one of the line from here, okay? Just one of the line. All this code belongs to, you know, extend reports library, guys. This code will not work without having extend library configured up in the project. I'll copy this, just this first, this, uh, uh, which uh, line it is almost 11th line or it's the 12th line, it seems, okay? Extend reports, extend is called new extend reports. I'll, I have copied that and I will paste it here. The moment I paste this uh, extend reports, extend is equal to, I'm creating an object for the extent reports class, but this class doesn't belong to the Java library. When you created this project, when you created this project, Maven project, Maven Java project, when you create it, it comes only by default with the Java library. Okay, you see, JRE system library is a Java library. By default, in Eclipse ID, when you create a Maven project, you'll get the Java library by default. Okay, that's the reason here class keywords are identified and here public static void main. Uh, methods, uh, if you write system.out.printl, that will also be considered system is a class that will be, pretty, uh, that is part of the library, Java, the already configured, already by default coming library, that is Java library. But does this project contain the extent reports library? 
No. You see, that's the reason when I hover the mouse on this extent reports, I'll not get any option to import. You see, hover the mouse on extent reports, you'll not get any option to import this class. This is a predefined class of the extent reports library. Then how to configure this project with extent reports? It's very simple, guys. So what we have to do is to overcome this problem of uh, not getting the import statements and all, okay, to configure the project with the extent reports library in order for that uh, predefined class of the extent reports library to be used in the project, we have to use, we have to go to MVN repository, guys, okay? Just go to the website, mvnrepository.com website. Here, search for extent reports, okay? Just search for extent reports. When you search for extent reports, okay, this relevant course is an older, older version, okay? Extend reports for Selenium is the older one. If you go inside this, you see here, it will say that uh, up to 2.41.2, it was there. But uh, you see October 20, 2016, it ended. Okay, this is the latest, uh, this is the last library of this uh, extend reports for Selenium, 2016, guys. And it's saying that the artifact was moved to event stack. Okay, so again, go back, guys. You will see something like event stack here. When you search for extend reports, you will get extend reports, extend reports for Selenium and all so on. And this is the older one, whereas this is the latest one, guys. You see, September 19, 2021, it was last released, okay? So it uh, compared to this one, this is the latest, okay? This is the latest. So I'll go with this one, guys. I'll go with this one, extend reports, event stack, extend reports, okay? Click on that. And uh, I got this 5.0.9 as the latest version here. Click on that. And once you go to this latest uh, version of the library of the extend reports, here in the bottom, you will see Maven. Since you have created a Maven project here in this Eclipse side, you created Maven project. Okay. So Maven under Maven tab, you'll see some dependencies. Okay. Copy this guys, copy this. Okay. Just click on this to copy that. So you don't have to specially copy like this. Just click on this. It will be copied to clipboard. Now go to the project. And in this project, since it is a Maven project, you'll get this form.xml file. In all Maven projects, you'll get a file, extra file known as form.xml file. Open that form.xml file. It is an XML file, guys. You see, it's a you see, this is a project to project. Your starting project tag is there, ending project tag is there in that model group ID artifact version are there. Here, before this ending of the slash project, you add some tags known as dependencies, dependencies tags, okay? Here says slash dependencies, okay? Slash dependencies, like this you add. And under the dependencies tags, whatever the dependencies you copied, okay? If you want to copy only this portion, for example, this is the first line is a comment case. You don't have to copy from second line onwards. You can copy if you want. Okay. Only this part I'm copying for extent reports 5.0.9. Okay. Just add it here. Just add it here, guys. Just press tab so that it will be properly organized. So once this dependency tags for extent reports library has been added to the form.xml file, save all. Okay. Click on the save all button. The libraries for the uh, this extent reports will be added in a while. Once the loading is done, just go to the Maven dependencies. By default, you got the Java library. Now under the Maven dependencies, earlier this Maven dependencies was not there before you added this dependency tag. Now, since you added this dependency tags of extent reports under the dependencies tags of this form.xml file, now you got the Maven dependencies. Expand that. And here you see, you got the extent reports library automatically downloaded and configured in this project, guys, okay? Apart from that, some supportive libraries for this extent reports also have come because of this dependency tag. Okay. Now go to the demo.java. Earlier, I was not able to import this uh, predefined class of the extent reports. Okay. So now over the mouse, since this predefined class belongs to the extent reports library, you see, since I added this extent reports uh, library dependency tags in the form.xml file and extent reports library, third party library got successfully configured in our project. Now we are getting this import statement, import extent reports predefined class from which library? Avail stack extent reports library, import that. That's it guys, you see, you are able to use extent reports library in your Maven project. Now save this, errors will be gone, done. So this is how guys, this is how we can set up our configure projects with extent third party library known as extent reports library, okay, in our Maven projects or Java projects, okay. So uh, by default, Java library will come, but extends reports uh, library will not come. This is the process we have to follow to configure the project with the extends report, extend reports library, okay? So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to cover another extent reports topic for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.